moving on to a different subject. And you guys can ask me about this. I mean, if I, if you think I missed something, you can ask me some questions if you want. I'm going to, I'm going to move on to something else. So someone asked me just before the call about this. Uh, I believe it was, uh, was it Wisconsin? Yeah, Illinois maybe is telling you for a driver's license. Now they want some biometric data fingerprint. Maybe they're already doing that in some other states. So look, guys, you got to understand something about licensing. I know about the driver's license. Okay. The commercial aspects of it and all that. So the li a license is the payment of a tax, or let's call it like this. A license is the evidence of the payment of a tax for something that would otherwise be unlawful, right? It makes it legal because otherwise, if you try to do it like hunting off season, right? Or hunting on someone else's land, you got to get permission, right? So a, a driver's license is the tax for something that you know would otherwise be considered illegal. So what is that? It's the receipt for the payment of a tax. What is the receipt? Is it the little plastic card you get with your photo on there? That is not necessarily the driver's license. It is evidence of the payment of the tax, right? Because it's it's valid. If the cop runs it, he's going to see that it's valid. That is the receipt. We don't see it that way. But if I'm holding a piece of paper, which you can still get to these days, I think, or on your phone or something, you can show, like in Florida, if I renew my driver's license, I think it's $47. If I have a receipt for the payment of the $47, that's my license. I paid the license tax to use the public rights of way. The cop won't see it that way because they don't educate them. But I believe I can win in trial in trial court. In fact, I probably have to appeal it, but I, I could win on that on that issue that I paid the tax. So you stop me and I don't have what you're used to seeing, a driver's license. That, in fact, my driver's license said canceled, right? But I have the receipt that I paid the tax. They just didn't update the card because I wouldn't give them my my uh, my biometric data, you see? So my, my answer to the question on... What do I do when they ask me for biometric data and I don't want to give it? There's two ways to go. One is pay the fee, pay the tax by mail, send it to the to the director of the Department of Motor Vehicles or whoever will process the payment. Get your payment processed. Make sure it gets processed. Keep the receipt for that and keep it in your car when you're driving. Keep it with your expired license or whatever. Now, be careful. If your license is suspended, make sure that it's only canceled. I think it'll be canceled. Now, if they're going to suspend your license for not paying the fee because they're not going to record the fee as being paid it will be paid like if you're not going to get a receipt back you have to send the payment in and get a money order so get the money order for the receipt or the receipt for the money order okay so just think that through but you, you want your um your license to be canceled if it's going to be canceled and not suspended suspended is basically a warrant for your arrest and it leaves the, the police officer with his discretion or her discretion as to whether or not he's going to arrest you. So uh, it, it comes down to his personality. So I prefer to have a license that's canceled, <clears throat> which divests me of some sort of liability as a resident. So that's another subject. But basically, my answer to you is either pay the tax in that manner and don't renew the license the other way. And if the accounting function is going to accept the payment, which it should, I mean, if you pay it, the fact that you mailed it, let's say, for example, that is payment. So have a receipt that you mailed it and you sent a money order, for example. Keep that receipt. Make sure the money order is a copy where it says Department of Motor Vehicles or whatever it's supposed to be made out to, right? So that way on the road side, if the police stop you and this sort of thing, remember with the licensing, they're going to, you got the insurance problem. It's all connected and the registration. So this is kind of a, a battle that you'd be taking on. Just keep that in mind. The alternative is give the biometric data and put a lien on it. That's why we have the security agreement. All right.